Hey, what's up guys? The Beast Frenchie here, and I'm back with a brand new NHL 16 video talking about NHL 17. Because today we had a brand new trailer that was released, um, well, today, in the afternoon. So yeah, I just come home from school and I see this, right? So I decided to make a video about it. So yeah, there's not that many things that they shown in the video, but still, there were some really cool things. And I decided not to show it in my video because... I don't want to get copyright strike uh, by EA. I don't know. There, I don't know if they can do something like this, but so yeah, I wasn't sure, so I decided not to just to be safe. So in the first few seconds of the trailer, it's not that it's some NHL footage, some real NHL footage, so it doesn't really change anything. Um, and then they show you what they have done for the uh, like production of the game. They have the goalie doing his stuff like usual, but. Like, they showed a, a new thing. It says that they improved the goalie, like they said, last year, the year before that, and the other one before that. But there's something that they changed this year, and I found really cool. Um, they ch changed. They added, uh, like, when you're in front of the net, right, and you fight for the puck, they've added the little feature where you're actually fighting for the puck. It's not like in this year's NHL where you do nothing for the puck. You're just staring, in fr staring at each other, and you don't do shit. This year, it seems like you're going to actually fight in front of the net, um... Well, to try to get that puck into the net, basically. So that's cool because that happens in real life hockey, and it wasn't happening in NHL 16. So it makes the game a little bit realistic, a little bit more realistic. And then a few more seconds later, you can basically see that they've improved it, the goalie and whatever they say that all years. Like they've said that for the last, the past five years, they're probably going to say that oh, they've improved skating too. I'm calling it right now. In the future's less, they've improved skating. For sure, they're going to say some bullshit like this. Um, now, the one thing that was really cool about the trailer, we see that there's Customs Arena. Now, that's another stupid thing that's as dumb as the mascots. That's, to me, a reason to buy it, to make you buy the game. But it's still really, really cool. I'm not bitching on EA for doing that. It's, it's really cool. But obviously, this is going to be in Aki Ultimate Team. Well... Uh, as maybe a card that you can pull in gold packs it is really rare and it's kind of like oh this is a real like like it's going to be a, uh, like an expensive card in NHL 17 all kill my team I'm pretty sure now we see after that there's some custom jerseys now this was already in NHL uh, 13 or 14 I think where you could have your own custom jerseys and I think they removed it for some reason in NHL 17 but now it's back it seems like so yeah, still real cool. So that was a future I really liked to do back then. You can create your own teams, right? And for some reason, they have also removed that. But you could create your own team and create the jerseys. And I would spend so much time creating the jerseys because that's one thing I like to do. So if they bring that back, and well, they're bringing it back because they just shown. But if they're bringing it back in Akil Smith team, if they're bringing it because it was never in NHL, I'll kill Ultimate Team. But if they're bringing it into um, I'll Kill Ultimate Team, I'll be happy because that's one future I really like. So, cool. That's cool, I guess. Um, Customs Arena, like I said. And then, funny thing, you see the guy working at his computer, right? And a few seconds later, you see Fiddler. You see fucking Fiddler on the screen. So this motherfucker is going to be back in NHL 17. I think we also see some contract. No, you see some coach or whatever. But yeah, so you see Fiddler on the screen. So I was like, oh shit, <laughs> he's back for NHL 17, right? So also, a few seconds later, um, there is like this animation where he switches from uh, Hartford, like he switches from city, right? Halifax, it's Halifax, Almonton, Hartford, and then yeah. I think what this means is that you can actually choose where your AHL squad will be located in NHL 17. That, well, let me explain. There's this, like, when you watch on the screen what it says, right? It says market size, it's a medium size, right? So it's either you choose your Alki Ultimate Team location, your... It's a location for... Like, I don't know, it's, it's for sure... To me, it should be AHL, right? But it could also be... Anything else? You, yeah. So right, there's interest. So if you look at the screen that he's on, it says market size, interest in your franchise, open to negotiation, fan engagement, and stadium funding interest. So basically, what this means is that you're locating a team there. So the thing I don't know is at 
it's in BIA GM if you look at the top left corner, right? But I don't know if this is your AHL squad or your NHL squad. That's one thing that I that we still don't know. But if you look at the top left corner, you see that it is BIA GM. So to me, it should be AHL and NHL. But yeah, so now you can basically choose where the city you want to play and it, it has some impacts on your team and it brings you like and now you have to manage money in NHL 17 so it's even cooler oh that was a weak goal what the fuck goalie um, but yeah so that's really cool um, also there is a World Cup of Hockey in NHL 17 now I don't know if this is gonna be in NHL 17 Hockey Ultimate the, uh, it's going to be in uh, be a pro or GM not in GM mode because we, you don't really care about GM mode uh, it doesn't really it doesn't really matter if it's it may be a GM or not but it should be in be a pro if you ask me like if you have a crazy season your country decides to pick you up for your t for your NHL um, what am I saying for your to represent your country that would be cool right and it seems like they've brought the original the official jerseys this year for countries. You're no longer going to have to wear the those ugly ass jerseys that um, they create now. Because if you look at the Canada logo, that is official Canada logo is gonna wear for the World Cup of Hockey. So yeah, really cool. Um, now I don't know if they're gonna have all European teams, but at least to have Canada seems great. So yeah, after that you get you get well nothing really. You get a celebration for a hat trick. Um, so there's there going to be that. There already was in NHL 16, but it seems like they've improved it a little bit. Then you get NHL footage. And then if you stay until the very, very end, you can see Ovechkin doing his, like, silly where he puts his hand over his stick and Thornton doing his silly where he just slides on the ice and end up on his back. So that's basically what you see on the NHL 17 trailer, right? Um, but, yeah. So you see some little cool little features, I mean... Like the thing where you can locate a team, it, even if it's your AHL squad or NHL squad or for that matter, I don't even know which squad you want to put there. It's it's fucking cool that you can decide where you want to put it, and it seems like it's going to have an impact on the money you're getting because it says like if there's interest and if there is low interest. Actually, I want, I just thought about this. If there is low interest, maybe you can see not so many people uh, where your team is playing, kind of like in Florida. So yeah, that would be cool if they added a little something like this, right? It makes the game more realistic and way cooler. But some things that needs to be fixed, man. There's lots of things that needs to be fixed in this game. And you guys know the glitch goals, like, hang on, shit like this, uh, not like this, but like there's some glitch goal at you, you know, like bullshit like this that always gets in the net. I've done that about ten times in the video already. So you guys know what I'm saying. Um, the glitch goal like this, like there's so many things that can be fixed. Your own goaltenders and be a pro, like they seem so fucking weak. They should you should improve that or at least make it even as the other goaltend same as the other goaltenders. Like so many things that can be fixed, but they're never fixing for some odd reason. Um they could also one thing that I would really, really, really want to see is like you know back then you had this free for all mode in like NHL 06 and this was the shit I really fucking like that like with the big heads and shit. If they can bring back some fun modes like this in an NHL 17, so you can maybe have fun with your friends, that would be really cool. But they're not gonna do that. I I'm pretty sure they're not gonna do shit like this. Um, and yeah, there's also some people that want NHL 17 on PC. That would be really cool, I agree, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, and yeah, there's not nothing else that I wanted to say in this video. Just improve. Like, they're, if they're improving, be a pro, which is my favorite game mode. I'm cool that with that because, uh, let's be honest here, when you get to about like two or three years into be a pro, it gets really boring. So they should have a little something to make it a little cooler. Also, GM mode, same thing. After two or three years that you win the Stanley Cup in the road, it gets kind of boring. So, yeah. Maybe I try to add some little features that can make the game less boring. So, that's pretty much what I want to say. Um, I knew, I know that I said that NHL 16 was one of the greatest NHLs. But, obviously, when the game just came out, you always say some shit like this. But, it's not. Let's just be honest. It's, it's not. It's way better than NHL 15. It's a good improvement. But... I hope there's the same improvement from NHL 16 uh, to NHL 17. Now, I hope I'm not going to waste any more of you guys' time. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, 
if you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see some future video, some of my future video, um, well, subscribe to my channel, man. And uh, I'm for sure going to upload NHL 17 content. I'm going to buy it. And I'm probably going to have it even before it comes out because of EA Access. So, yeah. If you want to see some early NHL 17 footage, just subscribe to my channel and I will provide you guys with that. Um, so, I don't have anything else to say. So, I will see you guys in my next video.